you're officially ready to start your dropshipping journey. But with all the information out there, you're feeling lost when it comes to what steps to take first. There are thousands of videos, opinions, and strategies out there when it comes to dropshipping. But at the end of them all, you're still left with two major questions. Should I get started? And how do I get started? The short answer is yes, you should. The consistent growth in online sales has left the door open to endless opportunities. But the how? That's what I'm gonna be taking you through today. Because even though this is a business that is helping everyday people absolutely change their lives, there's a full process when it comes to getting started. And that process can be extremely confusing to someone just getting started. So today, I'm gonna to make sure that you know how to get started the right way without wasting time, money, and energy on systems that aren't proven to work. I'm gonna help you get rid of the information overload get rid of the doubt and get rid of the confusion because I'm about to give you the most beginner friendly step-by-step -step tutorial on how you could get started with dropshipping in 2024. So by the end of this video, you'll understand the full process of dropshipping, how to actually get started, and most importantly, how to start making money online to make it even more worth your while. Once this video reaches 2000 likes, I'm gonna be dropping a list of 20 winning validated products with every single link you need to start taking advantage of them right away in the description down below. So you can add these directly to your store and start selling them today. And on top of that, if you want the chance of winning a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team to get all of your questions answered, I'm giving out five of them. All you have to do is smash that like button down below and in the comment section, comment the word dropship with your biggest takeaway from this video. So grab your pen, grab your notebook, Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first step to creating those same sales that drove you to look into how to start and run your own dropshipping business is by first creating your store. Now listen, I know that as a beginner, that might sound like a very big step right off the bat, but it's a step that you simply cannot avoid. But here's the thing, this doesn't have to be something that takes a ton of your time and money. Let me show you how and why. If you head down to the Shopify link that I posted in my description, that's gonna take you directly to this page and give you an absolute free trial with Shopify, plus your next three months only costing one single dollar each with no credit card required on file. Look, I know that investing in starting anything new, especially a business, can be very intimidating. So this deal is something that I worked on and partnered specifically with Shopify to make sure that people like you could have the very best opportunity to test the waters and get started without having to dig directly into your pockets. Now, before we go any further, we have to officially open the store up. So to take that first step, we're gonna go ahead and enter our email, start the free trial, and go through the start of questions that Shopify has. Now, do not worry about these questions too much. Nothing is set in stone, and they will not have any effect on your store based on how you're answering. Now, once you finish answering those questions, you're gonna end up right here on the Shopify dashboard. Now, from here, this is when we're really gonna start making some progress with getting your store off the ground and running. Now, we're gonna be covering a lot in this video, including store design. But before we get into that, I wanna make sure that you have a winning product added to your store. And in order to do that, you have to have a fulfillment app connected to your store. You will always need some sort of fulfillment app. And that's because the process of dropshipping goes like this. You first run ads for a product, and then customers come to your website and order the product from your store. You then fulfill those orders directly through your supplier who's connected to your store through your fulfillment app. And lastly, the supplier sends the product directly to your customers. So basically what I'm saying is that this entire business is built so that you can use suppliers and fulfillment centers to scale products without ever having to buy or hold any inventory up front. This in turn provides you with the opportunity to scale limitlessly and as many times as you want and can. And with that opportunity, you're gonna want a fulfillment site that has suppliers that can keep up with you and your store needs, but most importantly, grow with you. This is where I always suggest using AutoDS. That's because AutoDS isn't only a fulfillment and supplier source, but it's a product research app as well, which means that you'll be getting everything you need all in one place. So in order to make sure AutoDS is on your store and connected correctly, you're just gonna head over to the website, which I linked down in my description, and you're gonna create an account. Now the link that's down there in my description is gonna give you a 30 day free trial with AutoDS so that you can see what it's all about and even follow along with what I'm about to show you. This is the page that you're gonna get taken to. And now we're just gonna go ahead and create an account to activate the free trial. So to do this, we're gonna come over here and click on get started. So simply just enter your email, your full name and password. And then once you're finished with that, go ahead and click on join. So once you're finished with that, it's gonna take you directly to the screen where says welcome to AutoDS. And as you can see, the first thing it says is let's add your first store. So simply just come over here and click on add store. And the next question it's gonna ask you is what type of store are you starting? And you just opened up a Shopify store. So you're gonna go ahead and click on Shopify as your first option. Now, the next thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna take you directly to the Shopify app store. Once you make it to this page, you wanna go ahead and click on install. 
Now, once you go ahead and install this, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and log in. Now, once you go ahead and log in, the same store that you just now made is going to show up. And then you just simply just wanna go ahead and click on your store and it's gonna be connected in seconds. And the last step, it's gonna take you directly to the screen. And at the top right, you're just gonna go ahead and click on install app. And just like that, in only a couple clicks, you have AutoDS on your store. And just to make sure it's installed correctly, you should see the name of your store in the top left. Now, once your store is connected, the only thing left to do is find a product. And like I told you, AutoDS doubles as a fulfillment center and product research app. So you don't have to go too far to find the product that you're gonna be selling. Now, there are three main product research sections that AutoDS has, the marketplace, winning products, and TikTok spot each of which has its benefits. The marketplace is where you can find every product that AutoDS has available. And you can even filter down by specific categories from the main countries I wanna to ship to, to the price range. There is a numerous amount of products and niches that you could take advantage of. And they even have this fast shipping option, which shows you the products they have that can be fulfilled the quickest based on the fact that they're being fulfilled from the United States, which as you can see, has some very competitive shipping times all of these saying two business days or less. Now the winning product section is helpful for product research too, because new trending and on the rise products are added to this section hourly. So you'll be looking at new potential products every time that you come take a look. And in this section, you can still filter down by the most relevant products, the price, the shipping times, and so on and so forth. And what I love is that a breakdown of every single product is given under the product analysis. So you can get some important insights before even deciding to look further into it. So if I go ahead and click on this product right here, as I scroll down, it's gonna give me a full description of the product, what the profit of the product is, who is my target audience, what is their demographic, what is their occupation, what is their interest, and even giving me the competitor Facebook ad and their website link so I have a full scope of my competition and how to go ahead and enter into the market and win. And lastly, you have the TikTok spot. And in this section, it's gonna show me the price they're selling well, specifically on TikTok. And if I come over here and click on see TikTok ad, it's gonna give me insights on their engagement, all the different ads that they're running and getting help you know if it's worth your time or not. Now, regardless of which section that you're looking through to find the price that you wanna sell, it's important to remember that you're looking for some very specific things to know that you wanna even add this product to your store in the first place. And that starts with making sure the product that you choose falls in line with some sort of trend or season. Following consumer trends is gonna be majorly important to getting the sales that you're looking for as quickly as possible. And Google Trends is gonna tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to when you should start and when you should stop selling specific products. So if we head over here to Google Trends and we search for something like fall, we're gonna see that the trend is beginning to decline in searches, which is an indicator that you do not wanna be selling products that go within the season or trend. Now, on the other hand, if we search the term winter, you'll easily see that it's right at the start of the incline in searches from consumers, which should tell us that there's potential to sell a product related to this term. And I'm trying to tell you guys, the data is never going to lie. Now remember, consumers are always gonna show you what they want just by what they're searching for. So verifying that it's a trending search for whatever season or trend you're trying to sell in is gonna be key no matter what time of the year it is. Now, once you find out the season or trend you wanna focus on, the next step is finding problem solving products because problem solving products are the best sellers. Consumers love to make their lives more efficient. So if you have a product that can do that for them, your store is going to be booming. Next, once you're looking for a product, you wanna make sure that's a product that consumers can see value in. The price that you're selling need to have some quality behind it as you're gonna be looking to sell products that you can sell between 30 and $150. And the last step of validation is to make sure that the product is getting sales today. This is so important because this is how you verify that the product has a real demand behind it and it's actually making other people money. If you focus heavily on these four main components when it comes to the price that you add to your store, you'll likely find yourself selling winning products and reaping the benefits. Taking all of that into consideration, I'm gonna see what I can find product-wise, and then we'll verify that it's meeting the points I just talked about. Once it's meeting all those points, I'm gonna show you how to add the product to your store and create a store that is built to drive sales. But while I'm looking for a product, if you're looking to streamline your results, like so many beginners have come to us and been able to do, then make sure you go ahead and click on the link down in my description and apply for the limited spots available for my personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching so that we can help you reach your dropshipping goals. All right, guys, I was able to come up with this product right here based on the points that I was just talking to you about earlier. And this product is a heated body massager. And earlier, we verified the winter trend. And you can now see that this product falls in line with that exact season, which is telling you that the season or trend, as well as this product and the time frame of demand is aligned. So not only did we verify the demand behind the season, but we verified the demand behind the actual product too. And this is huge in determining that you have a winner. The product also solves a problem and it's a product that consumers will see value in because of its problem solving aspects. Now to verify that it's making sales today, I'm gonna head over here to Google and I'm gonna type in the product name plus myshopify.com. 
When I do this, it's gonna allow me to see other Shopify stores selling this exact same product. But before we hop into one of these stores, you're gonna wanna download a free Google Chrome extension called Similar Web, which is gonna allow us to verify the final component needed to sell this product. And that's that is making sales today. Now, once you have that downloaded, we're gonna head back over here to Google, look through all the people who are running ads towards this product today, and we're just gonna open them all up. And then once we open up all these different websites and different tabs, we're gonna come over here to the Google Chrome extension and go ahead and open it up. And what you're looking for is to see who has traffic. If you're seeing their traffic on a rise like this, this is a great sign. But if you open up somebody else and you notice they have no traffic at all, we know that this is not somebody we should be basing ourselves off of. And just from doing this analysis across the board, we can see that this competitor has a surplus of traffic at the moment. And based on the estimated monthly visitors, we can estimate about how much money they're making from selling this product. So to figure out how much money they made last month, we can see that they had right around 234,000 visitors. So if I take my calculator out and I do 234,000 and I multiply this by the industry Shopify conversion rate of two and a half percent, this is gonna give me an estimate of how many orders they had last month, which as you can see, comes out to 5,850. And with the selling price being right around $41, I can take this, times it by $41, and it's gonna tell me that they made close to $240,000 last month alone. And with it being verified that this product is now meeting all the points that we need it to meet, we're gonna go ahead and add it to our store. And it's a really quick process to add the product to your store since you already have AutoDS connected to your Shopify store. All you're gonna do is come back over here to AutoDS and click on import draft. Once it's being imported, you'll see item is being added to drafts. And once it's finished being added to drafts, we're just gonna come over here and click on drafts. And the reason it's gonna draft the product for you is so that you have the ability to make edits to anything before officially adding it to your store. So to do this, it's very simple. Just come over here and click on click to edit. From the draft section, you're able to change the name of the product, set the selling price, choose the variants that you wanna sell, and choose the images that you want imported on your store. Now for me, I'm not gonna keep this name right here. I like to name my products to allow myself to stand out from my competition. I went ahead and named it Instant and relief heated neck massage pillow and i advise that every product that you sell you do the same thing from here you can choose the shipping methods that you want to go ahead and choose you can edit the description and you can even choose the variance and the selling price that you want to work with and the selling price is something that i know a lot of beginners struggle with determining so let me break down how you're going to be choosing that price the product that you're selling should always be sold for at least 2.5 times the cost of goods and that price point will almost always match up with the same type of price point that your competition is selling the product for so how we're going to figure out what you should be selling this massager for is by just checking simply what the supplier is selling their product for, including shipping. So as you can see, we're gonna get the product for $21.95. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that $21.95 and I'm gonna multiply it by 2.5, which is gonna come out to $54.87, which is falling right in line with the $30 to $150 price range that we're looking to sell between. And if we check out the other Shopify stores, we can see that they're selling this for right around that same price range. So we fit right in the middle. Making sure that you're reaching at least that 2.5X margin in your selling price is so important to the success of your store because that's what's gonna give you the room you need to spend money on ads and still make a profit. Now, once you select all the other specifics that you want in your store, you'll just come over here and click on the save and import button and you've officially added your first product to your store. So now if we head back over to the Shopify store and go into the product section, you're going to see that product is uploaded. And now that you have a product uploaded, it is time to get the store built, which is gonna take you one step closer to making some sales. And the first thing I want you to understand is that you're gonna be creating something that's called a general store. A general store is what's gonna allow you to test out different products that may fall under different niches. I want you to think of a general store as your Amazons and Walmarts. But even while selling different items, Everything is categorized and organized so that the customer can easily navigate and find exactly what they're looking for. Now, no, I am not saying that you're gonna be uploading hundreds of different products. You're actually just gonna start off with one main product and two products that are complementary to that main product and can be used as upsell items. But the idea is that if you wanna sell the heat and massager that we found today, but a workout product next week, you could do that without creating an entirely different store because a general store will never be built specific to the product that you're selling. Now, because you're creating a general store, you're gonna want a domain that is general as well. So to be able to do that, if you actually come back over here to Shopify, click on settings, scroll down to domains, you're gonna see that right here is where you're gonna purchase the domain that is gonna be linked to your store. Best advice to you, is to not overthink the name. Just think of one word that you want in the name of the store and then use ChatGPT to give you a list of 20 domain names that have the word in it. So once you have your list of domains like this, we're just gonna head back over here to Shopify and click on buy new domain. 
And once you type one of these names in and it works for you, it's gonna say that it's available. And a domain is only gonna cost you about 10 to $15 per year to keep active, which is an extremely low startup cost compared to pretty much any other business. Now, once your domain is set, the next thing we'll need to do is download a theme to our store. And a theme is another word for the layout of your store and how it's gonna look on desktop and mobile. So to be able to find these themes, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is come over here to online store and then click on themes. So if we head down to the theme section, you'll see that Shopify offers both paid and free themes. And the free themes work just as well as the paid themes. It's really just based on preference and budget which theme that you decide to choose. Look through them and download or buy the one that you want on your store. And for this video, I'm gonna be using this free theme which is called the Sense theme. You're gonna see that it's installing the theme and boom, now that is downloaded, I can set it as my default theme and we can start creating the homepage of our Shopify store. Very easy to do this, just simply come over here and click on publish and then click on publish again. And now it's your main theme on your store. Since the layout is in, it's really just gonna be plug and play, which is why I love Shopify. On the homepage, your main focus is to create something that looks professional, clean, and welcoming. And it just helps establish you in the minds of customers as a legitimate store. And this is the general layout of what's gonna be on your homepage. From the announcement bar to the navigation bar, all the way down to the important pages. Pretty broad, open, and welcoming. Now this is not something that should be taking a ton of your time, being that this is not where your customers are gonna be led to when they come from your ads, but more so just something that gives your store a completed feel. So let's go ahead and get into the design of it. To do this, we're gonna come over here and click on customize. And the first place that I like starting off with is the colors. Now on my store, I only use three colors max, black, white, and one accent color. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to theme settings, colors, click on add scheme, and we're just gonna go through these colors and anything that is not black and white, we're gonna change to our accent color. So this background needs to be blue, background radiant needs to be blue as well. Now, once I have all the colors done, I'm just gonna get into the build out of the homepage. Starting off with the announcement bar. Here, I like to highlight the season and trend that's happening as well as the active sale that I currently have. Something like this, winter sale, 50% off plus free shipping. Now for the navigation bar, this is how you're gonna go ahead and add different things to it. So simply you come back over here to your Shopify store and then go ahead and click on pages. And one thing I wanna add to this navigation bar is the shipping policy page. So to do this, I'm gonna come over and click on add page, shipping policy, come back over here to ChatGPT, tell it to create me a shipping policy page, copy it and then go ahead and paste and then click on save. Now you wanna come down to navigation where it says main menu, you wanna click on add menu item, rename it as shipping policy, click search or paste the link, type in shipping policy again, and then click on add. Once you're finished with that, you wanna go ahead and click on save. And then when I go ahead and refresh the screen, you're gonna notice that the shipping policy page is right at the top. And you can do this for the header of your store as well as the footer like I just showed you. So there's nothing you need to change about that right now. The next step is the welcoming statement plus image. Here, I like just putting a simple welcoming statement. And you can simply just use ChatGPT or just write this yourself. Where I said something like gift season is among us. With a quick little opening statement, giving the customer a great experience and knowing who we are and what we do. Next is we're gonna go ahead and do the image with text. So right here, what I like doing is inputting an image that also goes with the season and trend that's happening. And to do this while using non-copyrighted, high quality images, I like using something called pixels. On pixels, I'm just gonna type something like winter. So this is a pretty decent image, so I'm gonna go ahead and take full advantage of it and upload it to my store. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on free download, come back over here, click select image, add images, and then you just simply just add the image that you just saved from pixels. Now, the next thing on this list is the mission statement. And the mission statement is gonna give a brief understanding from the customer to your company on who you are, what you do, and what are your values. So again, I'm no copywriter, so I'm gonna use my resources and I'm gonna ask ChatGPT again. Say, create me a mission statement for the store. Once I have that, I'm gonna click on add section and I'm gonna go ahead and add a rich text. And just like that, I went ahead and inputted the mission statement. So the next thing you're gonna go ahead and do is add the main feature product directly to your homepage of your store. Now, this is very important because once you lead traffic to the product page of this product that you're selling, say somebody wants to look around the homepage and get a feel of your store. Well, once they do visit your homepage, they're gonna see that main feature product. And having that on your main page is not going to confuse the buyer with the shopping experience that they're having, but also can lead them directly back to the landing page so that they can buy. So to do that, I'm going to click on add section, feature product, select product, and you already know what it's going to be. It's going to be the main product that we just found earlier. Click on select. After that, we want to add a section and we want to do feature collection and those other complimentary products that go with your main product that I mentioned earlier, that's what's going to go right here. And when that time comes, it's very simple to add to your collections. You simply just come back over here to Shopify, click on products, and then click on collections. Create a collection. You wanna go ahead and name it. And then for collection type, you wanna go ahead and do manual. And then simply just go ahead and click on save. And then once it's saved, you're gonna click on browse and you're gonna add those other products right in here. Now, when you come back over here to your online store and you go ahead and click on the feature collection, you'll come down over here to collection, click select collection, and you're just gonna go ahead and select the main one that you just created. Next, you have testimonial of shoppers. So to add this section, I'm gonna come over here, click on add section, and you wanna go ahead and click on multi-column. 
And once it's added to your store, it's gonna look just like this. And for each column, you want a description of a testimonial as well as a picture of a real person. And this is great to show legitimacy behind your store, even if you haven't got started yet. And to go ahead and add these images, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it from Pixels. And I'm gonna type something like women smiling. I'm gonna save that image, save that image, and I'm also gonna do man smiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this one too. And then simply for each column, this is where you're gonna upload the image. And then once you have all three images added to that, you're just gonna add a brief testimonial under each one of them. So to do that, you just simply just click on the column, come down to the heading and add a name here, and in the description, highlight why someone should go ahead and buy from you. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. And just like that, you now have testimonials added to your store. And last but not least, you just wanna go ahead and add your newsletter. As you see, I have it in the footer right here called email signup. And I just said something like this, let's keep in touch. We'll send you exclusive discounts and promos on us. The best part is sign up is free. And just like that, I have a fully built out homepage. Once I'm finished with that, I wanna go ahead and click on save. Now, lastly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add in your logo to really help drive that professional feel home. If you don't have a logo yet, do not worry. They're extremely simple to make and really don't need to take up too much of your time. So to make your logo, you'll just head right over here to Canva and type in logo in the search bar. And this is gonna give you hundreds of different logo templates that you can work from. All you have to do is just choose the logo that you like best. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this one for example, and then click on customize this template. And now that I've created the logo, I do wanna make sure it's matching the same color scheme that I just had on my store. Come back over here to theme settings, get the color code, copy it, come back over here to my logo, come to colors, and then go ahead and paste. After entering this color code, you're simply just gonna download it and import this logo directly to your store. So to do this, I'm gonna click on share and then click on download. Now you wanna come back over here to your online store, click on theme settings, go to logo, select image, and then upload the logo that you just created. Now, if you followed me, in just a couple minutes, you have your entire homepage set up, your logo created, and you should be now ready to move on to the product page. And as you can see from the product page layout, the goal of the product page is to really sell your product to your customers. You'll be reiterating the problem that the product solves right at the start of your product page, and then pointing out different key features and benefits that the product has to support its problem solving factor. The correct setup of your product page is crucial because this is where customers will be directed with the ads that you'll be running. And when it comes to how the product is being promoted, you do not want to reinvent the wheel. Look at what is working for your competition and make it better. To do that, we'll head back over here to Google and type in the product name plus myshopify.com to find that competition again. From there, you'll wanna find the stores that are getting the most traffic using the Chrome extension similar web that I showed you earlier. Once you gather two or three of these stores, you'll then be able to use the images plus the features and benefits that are across these stores optimize them with ChatGPT and put them into your own product page. I'm gonna get together my two to three competitors that are getting the most traffic real quick and then we'll come back to get the product page set up together. All right, I got them. Let's go ahead and build this out. So my favorite way to build a strong converting product page in 2024 is actually to do it on the online store settings. So before you edit it all right here on the product section, I actually do it right here on this page. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on home page and then come down to products and then click create template. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name this after the product that I'm selling. After that, go ahead and click on create template. So the first section I'm gonna start off with is an image with text. And right here in the header, I'm gonna announce the main problem that somebody's having. Saying something like this, why suffer from neck, shoulder, or back pain when you can enjoy soothing massages from home. And again, the main thing I'm trying to do with this statement is highlight the main reason why someone would buy this product in the first place. And now that I've announced the problem, I'm now going to give the solution. Saying something like this to highlight how my product is now solving that problem. Now with every single piece of text I put in here, I like to match it with the corresponding GIF or image showcasing what they're seeing in text. Now you have to remember there's gonna be two types of buyers that come into your store, a reading buyer and a visual buyer. And you need to be appealing to both. So let's go ahead and knock this out real quick. And I like finding all of my GIFs right here on Google or with Giphy.com. Simply just go to Google, type in your product with non-copyrighted GIFs next to it, and you're gonna find a whole entire collage of them. Also, if your competitors don't have any logos or any tags on their GIFs, you can also take advantage of that as well. Now, after identifying the problem and giving a quick solution, the next thing we wanna do is highlight the main features and benefits of the product. So let's go ahead and knock that out as well. And with these different features and benefits, you wanna be adding images and GIFs, not just one or another. Knocked out the second one, let's keep the ball rolling. Now you're just gonna continue that same image or GIF then feature and benefit format through the rest of the project description for about four to five features or benefits. And say I don't know what to go ahead and put in my description and I don't wanna copy them word for word. Again, you have to use ChatGPT and use your resources to your advantage. 
So I can simply just come over here, copy this entire text, come back over here to ChatGPT, and just say something like, this is my competitor's ad copy, go ahead and put this in my own words. And just as simple as that, I have my next feature and benefit. And once you're done with it, it should look something like this a strong and persuasive product page that's built from what's already working in the market. Now there's a couple small things you need to do before you go ahead and complete this. And the main thing that you need to add is a compare price. So as you see right now, my product is being sold for $54.99. But again, it says winner sell 50% off plus free shipping. So we need to highlight the sell in our pricing. So to do that, go ahead and choose the product, open up the variant. And then right here where it says compare at price, it needs to be double what the selling price is, which would be $109.98. Now, once you're done with the variants, you still have one more thing you need to do. And that's by making sure that the template is assigned to this product. So what you're going to do is scroll down over here where it says theme template. And then where it says default product, you wanna change that to the one that you just made. And then click on save. And now that we come back over here to our online store, you can see that this template is now assigned to this product. And you can see a selling price and a compare price to highlight the sale that you're looking for. And even though the product page looks really good and uses proven sales points behind the product, the industry standard for conversions on e-commerce stores is two and a half percent. And to be as transparent as possible, it's gonna be very hard to reach that conversion rate without being able to guide the customers to make a purchase. The customer experience plays a huge part in how many conversions you get on your store. The easier you make it for them to purchase, the more likely they will. And the apps that you have in your store is what will help you create that customer experience that drives sales. Vitals is an all-in-one app that literally has every app that you need from sticky ad to card to reviews and upsell apps all in one place. And I'll link them down in my description so that you could try them out for free and see everything that they have to offer for the product page that you just created. I also created a video that you can check out right here that covers each app in depth and shows you exactly how they're gonna help you increase your conversions. Now that you know how and where to find products, you actually have a product uploaded to your store and you've completely built out your homepage and product page. You're in the perfect position to get prepared to run ads and get customers to your store. Running ads on Facebook has become more strict throughout recent years, which means that you need to have the right insights and steps that give you the best chances to run your ads with no problems. That starts with having a Facebook profile that has been active for six months or more. You absolutely do not want to try to start advertising on a brand new Facebook profile. Facebook is looking to keep the integrity behind the type of people who can advertise and have an account that has been active for six months or longer helps show that you're a real person. When you have that, you'll wanna make sure that the name on the account is identical to the name on any official documents like IDs or passwords, and that you have a clear photo of your face as your profile picture in case of any restrictions happening while running ads. Once these precautions are taken, it is time for you to start warming up your account. First thing first, you wanna log into your account and scroll through your newsfeed for at least five to 10 minutes. You wanna be liking, commenting, and interacting how you normally would for at least twice a day for a couple of days to further prove that you're a real person through your actions. All these precautions will help you avoid any bans or restrictions right from the beginning of your journey or more easily move past them if they do happen to you. So please, please, please make sure you warm up your account before advertising, especially heading into 2024. Once you have that account warmed up, you'll need to create a business manager as well as an ad account and then connect them directly to your Shopify store, which is gonna allow you to run ads to the store that you just created. Let me show you exactly how to do this. So this is the first place that you need to go to, which is business.facebook.com. You wanna make sure that you go ahead and log in with Facebook. Once you log into Facebook, you're gonna come down over here and click on create a business account. You can name this account after the store that you just made. Once you have all that connected, you're gonna to wanna to head back over to Shopify where you'll now be connecting your Shopify account to the business manager and ads manager that you just created. So in order to do that, you're just going to, now you wanna go ahead and enter your first and last name. Once you have that created, you wanna come back over here to Shopify, click on sales channels and then type in Facebook. And then once you make it to the screen on the Shopify app store, you wanna make sure you install it. From there in this top right section, you just click on add sales channel. And this is the first screen that you're gonna see. So from here, you're gonna go ahead and click on get started, connect account. This is gonna connect directly to the Facebook account that you just warmed up. Click on continue. Now you wanna go ahead and select the business account that you just set up. Once you do that, go ahead and click on connect. And then right here where it says data sharing preference, you wanna make sure this is maximum. And then click on save. You wanna choose the pixel that is connected to the ad account that you just made. Click on I agree and then submit for review. Once you get through the entire checklist of connecting your Shopify account to your Facebook business and ads manager, you're officially ready to start running your ads. And I did drop a video that shows you the exact steps that you'll be taking right after this point. So make sure that as soon as you're ready, you tune into the next steps towards making money online. If you're still with me, you just got an entire breakdown of how you can officially get started with dropshipping as a beginner in 2024. The opportunity out there is absolutely endless. And my students continue to prove that time and time again with the results that they're gaining from using the strategies that you just learned. Everyone has to start somewhere. 
and this video could be your starting point to some life-changing results. Use this video to your advantage and capitalize on the growth of e-commerce this 2024. And if you still find yourself needing some motivation to get started or just to keep going, make sure you join my free success discord where my students post their real-time results every single day. It is time to get to work. I'll see you all next week. This is AC with Supreme Ecom and I'm out. They gon' want a piece when you got it like that Like Jake